Welcome, I'm Sarah Logue here on behalf of Remax Escarpment and we want to talk to you today about staging a vacant home. I'm joined with Trisha Ross of Ross Interiors and she's going to take us through some of the highlights and the importance of staging period. Now sitting behind us is sort of one of the first steps that takes place in staging. There's always a consult, a list of what's needed, and then a delivery of furniture and accessories. So many people's homes are their castles and create such a cozy feel. The reality of staging is how do we open up the space and really truly show the assets of the home, not the assets of the homeowner. I love when you do that pre-consult and give people that short list. What is usually on the short list to do right out of the gate before you come back? It starts with a good cleaning. That is number one. First impressions are really important, so you want your buyer to come in and feel like the home was well cared for. Then we talk about paint. If any of the rooms have paint colors that are extremely vivid or bright, that might not translate so well in photographs or Absolutely. appeal to the masses. So we'll talk about paint if that's a possibility. Then we talk about organization, and that leaves us a clean slate to organize the furnishings and put the best foot forward. Yes, definitely. Now, a limitation we find with vacant homes and selling is that people walk through the space and they walk through the space very quickly. There's no anchors, and this is something I've learned from stagers. If there is no anchor, meaning a couch, a piece of art, something to hold someone in the room, they dismiss the room to the point of lack of memory for the room. So when you're selling your home, you're selling square footage. You don't want to lose out on these rooms. We also find in pictures, vacant rooms simply do not show well. They're not giving you any point of interest or any point of reference to come look at that space. How are we going to work such a large vacant home and create that interest factor? With the furnishings, we're going to create living spaces as most families typically use them. Yeah. We will set up the kitchen, we'll set up the living room, the family room, we'll set up a dining room. We'll decorate those spaces so that they feel loved without impeding buyers right. from mentally moving in. It's kind of like arriving at a hotel. You don't want to see evidence of the people who stayed in that room before you. Give me just a little bit of the impact on a buyer, stage versus not stage. You had some great stats on this. So statistics tell us that staged homes spend 83% less time on wow. the market than unstaged homes. 83%. We also know from research that um, buyers' impression of a home is established in the first seven seconds they walk through the front door. That's incredible. And it truly is. I, I always say I can sell a house right at the front door and you can see it on someone's face when they have that open feel when they walk in the door and everything feels fresh and clean and bright, they're engaged into the house immediately. Staged homes sell is the point we're making. Unstaged homes can take a little bit longer. They may still sell, but it's always a question of how many dollars did you leave on the table by not putting in a few days extra work ahead of time. 